everyone, I'm Robert Hinson. In this video, I'm going to talk about the only Bakugan game on the PSP, Bakugan Defenders of the Core, which is a hidden gem no one seems to know about. The game follows a story arc from Bakugan Battle Brawlers New Vestroya, which is not followed in the anime. You start the game by giving a name to a fictional new character the game introduces, and the game has two modes, story mode and battle mode. In story mode, you travel the world, you stealth to hide from security drones patrolling the city as you collect core energy, which can be used to upgrade your Bakugan. You can use your Bakugan as a tool, you take down laser traps and other security devices with that to get to the battle scenes. You also find chests that give you ability cards, Vexos passes that allow you to get past security guards if caught, and collectible metal figures of Bakugan. Also the button that triggers an arrow that shows you where you have to go in a level is a nice touch. The battle system is similar to Dragon Ball Z, and it also feels like a dumbed down version of Gundam. Maybe because this game deals with large scaled structures fighting over a city. The gameplay feels good nonetheless. You can also use ability cards during fights, the only problem I have with the battle system is the targeting. You target by pressing a button and you're taking plenty of hits until the game decides to point towards the target you wanted to attack. Also battles aren't the only thing you do. There are also minion fights where you need to destroy all Vexus crystals or else enemies keep respawning or there are missions where you protect landmarks. And here it's nice that you can build hologram buildings as decoys. Also there are missions where the two are combined. And the side of the story mode, as I said, there's also a battle mode. And here you don't just one on one. There are three types of battles. Duel, which is two Bakugans fighting until one is knocked out, so a one on one. There is free for all mode. And there is destruction battle which is two players trying to gain more points than the opponent by hitting and destroying Vexus crystals within the time limit. In battle there are also attribute advantages, which offers more depth to the gameplay. You can evolve some figures and there are 32 figures in the game. I'm really surprised that no one heard about the game. And I'm even more surprised that you can't find a review online about it. This game deserves way more credit. It's a really good game that you can enjoy even if you're not a Bakugan fan.